some things you are hearing in the news right now by uh, Putin and uh, Biden and, and Biden throwing threats to Putin and all that. But y'all got to start looking at this thing and start taking it serious at this time. Because, see, they plan it down, and it's not that presidents haven't thrown threats before, but this time here is a little bit different. Not saying that something's going to come out of this today or tomorrow, but it's right around the corner, my people. It's some events going to happen, a war is going to happen right around the corner. And I know nobody want to hear about war, because war brings bloodshed and all that other stuff. But see, God got to make his events happen, and he sent you a servant, a messenger, a son of man to give you information. And that's my job. So I'm not going to lie to you, but you got to understand that God is going to deliver his people through whatever happened, no matter what. So you don't have nothing to worry about, but yet, it's been told you it's going to be days like the days of Noah, days like the days of Lot, days like the days of Jonah. So you must understand that those days have to come. But yet, in the midst of it all, you see, Jonah was placed in a, he was in a safe area. Lot was in a safe area. Noah was in a safe area. And so shall the elect of God be in a safe area. If you follow his messenger. See, God sent you a son of man. Noah was a son of man. Jonah was a son of man. Lot was a son of man. See, these are sons of men. These are prophets. These are messengers. And he sent these messengers. He sent these messengers before events happen. And I'm here today to let you know I'm an initiate. I'm a messenger. And I'm telling you things before it happened so you can know what's coming down the pipe. You need to know this. You know, today I looked at some ministers, and I don't want to take this too long, but I looked at some ministers on the internet, and I started realizing that. These guys, they're telling you some stuff that I heard when I was a little kid. You know, they're not revealing, revealing no revelations to you. They're not telling you. They didn't tell you that uh, 2020 was going to be a bad year. They didn't want to come and telling you that. See, God gives gifts to the Spirit. He gives gifts in the Bible. And some gifts are being overlooked right now. The gift of prophecy and all the other gifts, they're being overlooked right now. These guys are telling you a feel-good gospel, and don't get me wrong, they sound good. You know, I could go back when I was a, a, a teenager in church, and I could see that same type of gospel, that same type of teaching, how God's going to help me overcome Satan, or help me overcome the situations of my life. And they use Lot, uh, you know, they use uh, uh, Joel life, they use many others. And they tell you these certain things, and, and, and that's what we get. We get that gore doctrine. And that gore doctrine, it was all right even for Jonah for a period of time. But God made it with us, and you got to understand that. So you got to understand what that gore was all about, because right now, you got a responsibility to make sure yourself and your family is safe. I have a responsibility right now to make sure you and your family is safe. That's my calling. So I'm not going to give you a watered down thing that you need to, that everybody else been giving you. If that's what you want, I'm sorry. I'm going to tell you what does say the Lord and what revelations he's showing me to give you. You See, he don't send a messenger unless you need one. And that's why I'm here. And the scripture is going to tell you certain things that are happening right now. It's going to be in secret. I'm going to open it up for you, my people, because I love you and God loves you. And you need to know the truth. OK, he said no one will have this, uh, uh, know and open this word of truth like this. But Michael and Michael is a cold name for Lewis. So I'm, I know what I got and I'm here to give it to you. So you need to just hold on and listen to God's unchanging hand. Now, this lecture is entitled Jonah and the Black Messiah. Now, where do you see the Messiah at? Where do you see them talking about the Messiah? You're going to see them talking about Messiah, the Messiah in, in uh, Daniel 9, 25 through 27. You're going to hear them talking about Messiah in Luke 11, 29 through 36 because Jesus as the initiate got it written, Jesus told you 
that the Son of Man is going to come. He said, there will be only one sign. And I'm going to read this to you. Let's deal with it. Luke 11, 29 to 36. This is an evil generation. Now, most people say, well, you know, they literally, you know, in Peshe, and they say, well, this was at Jesus' time, and he's talking about the people at Rome, and da, 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 da. No, 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 no. No, no, no. This book, this King James Bible wasn't sent to Rome. It was sent to the United States of America. This is talking about you, my people. This is talking about you. And you know who wrote that? Jesus didn't write anything. Initiate wrote this. Jesus didn't say anything. Initiate said that. See, people always talk about, well, Jesus said this, and Jesus, Jesus didn't say those words. The initiate said that. And they got in our history that Jesus, the writers, wrote what Jesus said. Okay? Now, some of these books were written, as they say, six to seven years later. And let me tell you something. I could say something literally, and six to seven years later, ain't no way in the heck you're going to get it. Okay? Now, you ain't going to get it. Now, what was happening is that some of this literature and some of these stories haven't been truthfully told to you. And I don't want to get into that part of it, but we're going to break this down and we're going to use it as of Jesus saying this, okay? So I don't want to ruin the party. We're going to have a good time with this one. As of Jesus said that. That's, that's for example, yeah, Jesus said that. Okay, let's leave it like that because that's part of the board teaching. So we're going to deal with it from that angle. Now, this is an evil generation. They seek a sign and thou shall no sign be given unto it. But the sign of Jonah the prophet. For as Jonah was a sign unto the Ninevites, so shall also the Son of Man be to this generation. Now, the Son of Man is to come in the future. Okay? And the Son of Man must be a sign to the generation in which it is in. He's coming to. Because Jesus said, just like the time of Jonah, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Most church people call that the second coming of Christ, okay? Now, when they begin to see that, then what did Jonah come? Did Jonah come in a body? Yeah. Did he come as a man? Yes. Did he come to a group of people? Yes. You know. So you got to see that. So is uh, that Jesus, second coming of Jesus, going to be like Jonah, going to be like a man to come to a location to visit a people and tell the people what does say the Lord? See? Then you got the question, what that in the clouds, you know, and in the air, man. See, that's a, that's a church writing. So you got to question certain things, but we're not going to cover that right now. We have done that in past lectures. But I want you to just open your eyes and get outside the box, my people, because God wants to give you this revelation that you can understand what is going to happen that you and your family could be safe. When you hear the war drums beating on your news and etc., you'll know that God's messenger already done told you to be aware of the war drums. Please be aware of the war drums. Okay, now, let's deal with it. Because when they, the war drums come, see, they ain't going to let you know exactly when they're going to hit and strike. And you need to have a storage. We're not told you about having storages, have stuff, food laid up, because you know when the war drums hit, and it's like having a storm. When the storm comes, when the storm comes, what happens when the storm comes, and you got the storm come, people rush to the stores. They rush to the stores to get water. They rush to the store to get canned uh, goods and stuff like that. They get stuff to weather them through that storm. Okay? Now, War the same way. See, when they start a war, they shut off. See, anybody who battling against you, they shut off your supplies. Okay? So all those ships coming from South America and Mexico with all that food and stuff that be in your grocery stores, oh, they going to shut it down. And the same thing we're going to do for them. So when you see a war and the war drums start beating and you know God done sent you a messenger to tell you to prepare, you know what to do. So you done stepped into that Noah syndrome and saying, look, all the things I need is in here and my family going to be taken care of. I need water, we got water. I need some canned goods or some beans or some rice or whatever there, I got it. If I need something to cook this stuff with, I got it. 
I done got my you know, a, a gas tank and all this stuff made so I could cook my stuff so my family could survive. And you know, I don't have to tell you people, my audience and others, you know, when we have a crisis, the stores are empty. Okay? You need to pay attention to this lecture because this is something to help you. Okay? Now, let's deal with it. Now, when you try to understand the sign, you understand a sign. A sign is something that you see ahead of time, okay? And he said that sign going to be just like the time of Jonah. So what event done happened? What is happening right now? What city Jonah was in? He was in Nineveh. So what city, what nation was Nineveh in? It was in Assyria. So there must be a comparison of Jonah time in the city of Nineveh in the nation of Assyria like our time. Because the Son of Man, this messenger must come in the future. This next messenger must be in the area just like Nineveh. Else he ain't the messenger of God. Let's deal with the revelation. See, let's deal with the revelation. See, I'm not coming like some of the others come. And I don't get me wrong, they was a dark age philosophy. So I'm not going to come like them because we are the ones that come in the air age. We are coming in the cloud, cloud technology. They're casted records, okay? That's what it means to be in the cloud. See, you got to see the initiates, the one who wrote this information. See, there was prophet, there was men that knew how to work and ladies that knew how to work the arts. See, they could, just like you look at your television, they knew how to work the arts and they could look in a bowl or look in something, they could see your time. Wow, just as plain as you see it right now. So if they talk about be caught in the clouds, they ain't talking about no clouds in the air. They talking about exactly what you're talking about. Cloud technology. You got to understand that now. Because they can see Pierce into the future. If they see you using the word G or using the word C, they know that if you put that C there, you're talking about looking at something. They know that. You're talking about G, you're talking about a person. G, that's what you hear the jit say. Hey, G, what's up? You got to understand that. They transfer your thought, your language, your views, and wrote it in their time. And that's what Hebrew typology is all about. One in the future, a nation in the future, a prophet in the future, tapping in to their language and bringing it forth to God's chosen people. That's what Hebrew te typology is all about, my peoples. That's what it's all about. And that's what you're getting. In this ministry, Hebrew typology, and you got to see it the right way because you got to know when you put the whole priestly garment on, you got to understand Peshit, you got to understand which is the literal writing, just like this book is written, you got to know it like that. Then you got to know uh, uh, Ramus, the esoteric, what's underneath those words. Then you got to know Drush, what is that? The research. You got to research this stuff. I can't just tell you that the time of Jonah is going to be like the time of the Son of Man if I don't do my research. See, I got to know where, where Jonah was at. I got to go and read about the area of Nineveh. I got to go read about, well, that's a city. What is the nation it was in? I got to read about Assyria. And I got to know all these things before Assyria failed. Because Jonah is telling you that, and God is telling you, should I spare Nineveh? See, if Nineveh in the future fall, then the nation in which Nineveh is in going to fall. Just like the nation that Nineveh was in in the past. See, in the past, Nineveh and Assyria failed. And God asked no question. God asked no question to you Americans. Do you want your nation to fall? Do you want your nation to fall or you want to get your act together? Because God is not playing with us. He's going to make sure his word is not bought. And I'm sorry to come if you feel like I'm coming telling you bad news, but I think you'd rather have that sign than to have your children suffering. you rather have that sign and know that sign than to see family members destroyed. I think you'd rather have that sign. So you can walk in the will of God. So you won't be afraid of what is going to happen. And you can hold your head up. 
and know in your heart, God is with you. He's walking with you, holding your hand. Those are the things you need to know and understand. Because he said, you must cut time short if you don't. And he's going to do it for the elect. If he don't, no flesh will be saved. So I have to tell you this because I'm a messenger and I must show you the arts. I must show you what the word is really saying by putting the whole garment on. So you can see this. Now, let's carry on with it. Let's deal with Isaiah 42, 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I'll tell you of them. See, God's going to let you know before it happens. He's not going to let his cho chosen be caught up in no madness. We all, hell is breaking loose and you don't know what to do. And Mr. Armstrong, I told you God's going to take care of your left. No, no, no. So Mr. Armstrong must tell you what God say, whether you like it or don't like it. He must tell you what God say, and it's left up to you. Okay? So when that time come, when the war come, and this disturbance come, you will know that this minister did not lie to you. See, I'm going to say, let's go back a little. I, I, you know, I have to say this because it's there. From 2000 to 2020, I showed you on a video, and it was entitled The Great Exodus and Fall of America, 21 years of American history, how it was going to pan out with good, bad, gruesome, bad, bad, economics, good, bad, gruesome, bad, bad, Natural disasters, good, bad, we've all the way in that rotation until it got to 2020. Now let's deal with it. In that, I show you 2018, 19, and 20. 18 was going to be a good year, 19 was going to be a bad year, and 2020 was going to be a grievously bad year about your money. Tell me whether or not the messenger didn't tell you the truth. 2020, and you know it yourself. What you started out with 2020 in the stock market. Going a tailspin. You had them big boys taking their money out of the market. The government was putting money in there, putting money in there to keep the market from falling. Because the big boys was doing what the European wanted them to do, and the European Union all that wanted them to do, because they was trying to break America. Because they know America is the soul of the new Jerusalem, the real new Israel. They know that. But you don't know that. See, America have a promising future if it do what it's supposed to do. See, God will break it down to build you up. Now, you can pick your choice. You can think you're so bad with all your weapons pointing at every other nation, stuff like that. But God, new weapons, new things could come in. Cyber stuff could come in. could break you all the way down. That Trojan horse syndrome. Message from the high priest, Lord God, don't. Message from the high priest, Lord God, don't. Message from the high priest, Lord God, don't. This is going out on the sun's out, God. Fought long and hard, and we beat slavery. Got us a piece of land, and they took it from me. Number. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
bonus All the onus, I put it on you America, you know this is your last hour You can repent to the last hour Civil war weakening all your barriers Then the east is coming in the feast War is everywhere Free my people Free my people oh, oh. The promised land is here It's real my people It's real my people No one on you next to us War is everywhere Came for the land or came for us Free Back to Sherman's law You gotta own the land you want Yo, it's a message from Thoth to Hoodie, Melchizedek, Amias Hermes, Mercury, Quetzalcoatl, Kula Khan, who commands, we are telling them once, the rise of the children of Israel, Lewis that is, 